Well, this video again is going to be looking at the Mandela effect and how it's affecting Christians and what responses uh, many Christians are giving. And there's a conglomeration, there's a, most people who are Christians are honest, they're able to see changes in the world, they're able to put their Bible aside and realize there has been changes. Um, but some Christians um, think that in noticing changes that uh, that itself is a curse even though they admit that the CERN is up to no good I mean they're up to changing things and they've admitted they've touched dimensions and different things and that there's um, a huge budget being poured into CERN more than the military industrial complex absolutely huge amount of money and uh, they, they're not telling you really what, what they're getting up to and yet they're prepared to say that CERN are up to, up to no good but they're, you know, what exactly are they doing? And you can see in this picture that a CERN scientist is even admitting um, that they're having something to do with this so-called Mandela effect which, yes, yeah, certainly um, people have noticed. I'm not seeing here that this is the fulfillment of the Malachi prophecy, but um, it is uh, the Bible does speak about changing times and laws even. What type of laws are we speaking about? Now, if we're speaking about even the laws of uh, nature which uh, God brought into existence during the six-day creation, and this is the altered map, you see South America at least a thousand to two thousand miles closer to Africa, um, Australia moving northwest. Uh, this is the way South America used to look that we most of us remember it to look and uh, also the east coast of the United States seems a lot bigger than than it does now and uh, a lot of people reporting on the east coast um, is a lot shorter um, about Miami um, moving the islands moving closer um, to uh, Florida something else I just checked there at the end of the Old Testament it says now the end of the prophets and um, that's at the end of the book of Malachi which it didn't say before and when you go to the end of the book of Revelation it now says the end like the same as in a fairy story the end you know um, so it never used to say that um, it says that in fairy stories it never says that in any other Bible translation but it's saying it now in the King James Bible so again to my mind um, a lot of the King James Bible only um, don't believe in the gifts of the Holy Spirit um, they don't believe in the gift of tongues they say that's demonic and that's just for the first century so they are denominationalist even though they uh, say that they're not um, denominationalist um, and they go through a lot of other spiritual gifts as if they're just demonic um, there's nine spiritual gifts as, as found uh, as the Apostle Paul taught in Corinthians and that's for the church uh, that is the church right up until the second coming of Christ and uh, well a lot of deniers of truth and um, if you have such a book as the King James Bible and you don't believe everything written in it then you're probably quite welcome to the strong delusion that's upon you so all the truth deniers can now go back to you know closing your eyes putting your hands over your ears and uh you know, closing your mouth because um, I guess that's the curse that you have been put upon you. You're not able to use your eyes to see and ears to hear, and your mouth to speak truth and bless other believers. Um, you want to curse, so it means that there's a curse upon you, as as Jesus Christ said, um, "Those whom you judge, you shall be judged likewise." That's a paraphrase. Now on to some real. Um, insight into what's going on at CERN and we can see in this picture that a lot of the things that have been changed we've got Atlas in the left corner with regards to the earth changes or the continent shifts um, Alice here you know Alice in Wonderland uh, all these type of movies mind control monarch mind control movies um, lines in them being changed um, movie names being changed um, you know, mirror, mirror on the wall in the bottom right. Um, used to uh, 
it now says magic mirror for some unknown reason but uh, as I said that was even in a quiz program the other day and the correct answer was mirror mirror on the wall because everybody knows that but a lot of people haven't caught up with what's actually happened in the movie industry and the Mandela effects actually changed the lines in these movies now do I know how they're doing it I don't know but at least we have a bit more information here some researchers uh, you can see in this map very clearly um, the names of the stages of the actual uh, acceleration of the particles and um, maybe it travels through um, earth wind fire that type of thing we, we know that um, in witchcraft they use, they use a lot of that type of stuff but uh, we know as Christians that the Lord God the creator of the universe made the earth wind and fire and the air and that the Lord Jesus Christ is the master of all the elements and yet in witchcraft they try to manipulate the elements it's very well known that they do that and this large hadron collider certainly um, a, lo a lot of people think that um, there's a lot of witchcraft perhaps involved in this um, amalgamated with paganism and science and uh, sort of religion uh, united with modern day science just as it was um, before the ju God judged the Tower of Babel in the Old Testament. Okay, some reports that uh, the Earth could have went through a wormhole, travelled to a different dimension. Um, some people think that the star patterns have changed, but these have all to be confirmed. But uh, just some reminders as well about some of the changes to the products. Here we see the Volkswagen, the V and the W separated as you can see before it was and there was no separation between the V and the W um, you can see earth changes here in the UK um, beaches moved inland just overnight um, quite a few reports worldwide strange reports um, happened the past few months this summer um, and I don't think it's just bad weather that's causing this um, you know there's um, definite changes like lakes just drying up overnight and stuff like that there was also a report of a worldwide earthquake which happened 28th of April this year 2016 and the LHC had to be shut down um, also you can see in the movie the book of Eli um, this is the last guy on earth that has a King James Bible and he said that uh, something lit the sky, the fire lit up and burned everything in the earth and this is the exact prophecy that uh, Nostradamus gives for Geneva where CERN is he speaks of also Saturn as well um, not really sure exactly what this means but um, certainly um, it's very much I think tied in with biblical prophecy um, you know there is there is the wrath of the dragon you know who's, who knows his time is but short so I don't think that this is an act of God this happening just now I think that uh, Satan is, is, is um, doing a lot of this just now through the technology through CERN and certainly only during the two witnesses ministry the wrath of God shall be poured out the actual wrath of God um, what to bear in mind just now is that um, if you've confessed the Lord Jesus Christ that your soul is saved and you all have protection over these things as long as you stay in Jesus Christ um, you shall have protection over what the, the dragon does as it states in the book of Revelation see this prophecy in the book of Hosea speaking yes about physical adultery that's part of um, the sins um, which were related of Gomer but uh, more spiritual adultery um, and that's what's happening at CERN, of course, because they got this uh, image of this goddess or demon, demoness, outside of it. And um, we, we, of course, know the Hindu religion is bathed in um, a lot of paganism. And also, um, the Gregorian week is um, named after fallen angels and demons and so on. Um, and we're told not to worship the luminaries we're told not to honor them in any way we're just to honor and worship the one true god you know and it's uh in deuteronomy verse 6 it talks about that god is a had one 
Now that's very easy to work out because you know there's a lot of individual gods and goddesses. So if you worship one of those, it's very clearly easy to see that they are only one of them, and and you might go and and, and worship one of these things. But the the true God is made up of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and so that's why, um, you know, Israel commanded to say, you know, Adonai Elohenu Adonai Echad, um, to sing that blessing you know which is known as the Shema that um, God is one and that means that you know God is Father Son and Holy Spirit and yet they are one you know to understand that um, Israel did fall into this uh, idolatry of the golden calf which is related to Saturn or Chun or Remphan in the Bible and the planet Saturn is also related to time itself and so um, if they are moving through time and space and doing time travel um, I do believe that we're in the final um, empire, world empire, which is uh, represented by Saturn, um, which was started in Egypt, represented by the sun god, and finishes on uh, the, the seventh day of the Julian week. I think the Gregorian week, they might have Saturday as the, the sixth day. Well, I don't really know what to make of this uh, serpent race, you know, ruling the world and stuff like that, but we know from the Bible... It's certainly the serpent deceived Adam and Eve. But here's some more from uh, a local Paisley Abbey, in fact. Um, look at some of the gargoyles outside this thing. Building in Paisley, Paisley Abbey. In case you don't believe in the alien series or anything like that. Um, some, I don't know what they are. I think they're demons. I think they could be demons. And I wonder if, uh, you know, the, the inhabitants, the people in that church inhabitants of that town realize that there's a gizmo <laughs> there's an actual gizmo just uh, outside their, their church there that's just about every Hollywood movie and these these were actually done you know like hundreds of years ago you know there's there's the the gizmo transforming into the you know the the, the one out of the gremlins that's <laughs> just let's have a closer look at this chap there we are, Christian cathedrals, isn't that lovely? You know, and they were all there before all these, uh, the, you know, Hollywood movies came along. There's a flying pig, in case you've never seen one of those before. Uh, there's a serpent, that old serpent. And, uh, well, how nice. I'd just love to go there and maybe join that church. Just, what beautiful artwork. And there's, there's a nice... Um, what looks like an astronaut there. <laughs> Interesting. Um, most of these are in actually actually Paisley Abbey. I'm not sure about Darth Vader here. <laughs> I don't think he is. But they've just just about got everything else demonic on that cathedral. There's another little gizmo. <laughs> well, this is indeed a time, you know, when. <clears throat> the church has fallen deeply into idolatry as well and um, you know if any any real Christians um, expect to be raptured you know you've got to walk with the Lord Jesus Christ you've got to condemn the same things as he did and you've got to uh, um, try to um, aspire to the same things as Jesus commanded us to do um, just to go out you know do the great commission preach the gospel um, lay hands on the sick and so on recall Jesus uh, speaking to the Pharisees saying that they lack judgment mercy and faith and not to stop doing the former things but to uh, take the rebuke from our Lord and to do the things that he's saying as well as the things that we're doing before so we're not to give up commandment keeping we're not to give up the fourth commandment and I believe this is the same for the church you know because the book of James says there's one uh, Messiah one lawgiver one Torah and there's one a lamb who takes away the sin of the whole world and so there's one standard and that's God's son um, there's not two bodies of God's people on this earth you know yes um, Israel has a part to play in the end times but uh, the church has got to repent and it's got to bring our Jewish brothers into line with the Torah not to, not to lie to them and say that the Torah is done away which is a complete lie 
think only the saints that have been walking with Jesus Christ for any length of time can understand what's exactly going on and uh, sad to see that the the church is uh, just being lost under uh, um, a lot of just uh, demonic uh, accusations and backbiting and slander and different things um, you know we should be out there calling uh, in unison um, for the body of uh, Christ to come to come out of her, my people and um we see that uh, the scripture here in Thessalonians is uh, very, very true uh, with regards to what's happening uh, in CERN today. None of us have all the answers, but uh, I think that the, the, all the clues are there. And there's evidence, of course, uh, hundreds of things have, have changed. I understand that some people have seen things that aren't changes and uh, understand that, you know, but never, nonetheless, there has been changes there. And you must recognize that, I think, to bear witness to the truth and to stay in the Lord Jesus Christ and bear witness of the truth to the rest of the world that, yes, uh, this cabal who are in Switzerland are causing um, some major spiritual demonic and, you know, ripples right throughout uh, our, our history right now. And uh, it's very, very vital that people wake up to this. Thank you a lot for listening. May the Lord bless you.